Right, let's quickly look at some naming of binary molecules. When we look at a binary molecule, the first rule says that for the first element, we start with the element's name. So we, if we look at this element, our first element is carbon. So we will write down the name carbon. So that's the first rule. For the second element, we will have to change the name of the element. So most of these elements get an IDE. So we're looking at carbon fluoride. So fluorine, we have carbon and fluorine. The fluorine becomes fluoride. So carbon fluoride. But then I need to look at what else do I have. So if I don't have any um, numbers behind the carbon, the first element, it just remains carbon. So we don't use the word mono. So mono is left out. We will only use the prefixes if it's for the second one. Now, how many fluorines do I have? I have fluorines, four fluorines. So because of the four fluorines, I would have to put a prefix in front of the fluoride to tell me how many I have. So the prefix in this case is going to be tetra. So tetra, I have carbon tetra fluoride. So I will use the prefix in front of that to indicate how many of the second element is there. If I had two carbons, if I have, if my first element has, is more than one, for example, then I will also have a prefix for the first element, but the rule will stay the same. So my first element is chlorine. So I will write down the word chlorine, because my first one will be chlorine. My second element is oxygen, and oxygen becomes oxide. But I don't just have one, so it won't just remain chlorine, because I have two. Because there's two, I will put the prefix di. So I have dichlorine, and for oxygen, I have seven oxygens. So oxygen becomes oxide, and seven is hepta. But I don't say that I have seven dichlorine hepta oxide. I lose the A because if the next word starts with an O, anything with a vowel, an O, E, I, O, then I lose the A because I can't have these two vowels, an A and an O next to each other. So it becomes hept oxide. So I lose the A. I don't have the A in hepta because seven is hepta. So again, I'm going to repeat. First rule is you write down the name of the first element as it is, chlorine. The second element gets a suffix, IDE. So oxygen becomes oxide. If I only have one of the first element, if there's only one atom, I do not use the prefix mono. I will use the prefix mono for the second one. So in this case, carbon, tetra because there's four, fluorine becomes fluoride, carbon tetrafluoride. But if I do have more than one atom of the first element, then the first element will get a prefix. And in this case, dichlorine. And remember, chlorine is now in the beginning. It does not become chloride. It remains chlorine. So it's dichlorine hept oxide. So do not forget that, that you do not change the name. Okay, so if I have something like this, carbon and oxygen, then this one do not become monocarbon. Again, I apply the rule. The first one is carbon. The second one is oxygen, which becomes oxide. Now, because the second one is only one, I will indicate that it's carbon. Now, I can't say mono and two O's, so it will be M-O-N. I lose the one O. So it's carbon monoxide. Mono, because there's only one, monoxide. So I don't, lose, I don't say monoxide, because then I will have two O's. So carbon monoxide.